We know you love your dog unconditionally and strive to take good care of him. But even the most experienced owners can sometimes harm their Maltese dog and not even realize it. Today's episode, we will share 10 ways you're hurting your Maltese dog without realizing it. Number 1. Letting your Maltese eat everything Most Maltese owners give their dogs human food, thinking they are actually caring for it. In fact, giving dogs human food is hurting your dog. Your dog's elementary canal is quite different from yours, just as its nutritional requirements are different. Most times the food you eat are too spicy, too fatty, or too salty for your Maltese dog. In fact, human food are way too toxic for your dog, and you should avoid feeding them with it, even little crumbles from the table. Number 2. Taking a little puppy to a dog park Take your pet to the park. Once in a while allows it to mingle with its own species. It won't feel like it is the only one left in the world. As much as this is good for your Maltese, you shouldn't forget that dogs can be passive carriers of diseases. This can easily transfer to your pet. If you are visiting a dog park with your little puppy, you may want to keep an eye on it, especially when your puppy meets a large dog. Larger dogs are rough while playing and may end up harming your little puppy. Number 3. Neglecting their teeth The teeth are an important part of your dog's body. Their teeth are often home to hundreds of bacteria and need to be brushed just like yours. Do seriously take care of your Maltese teeth. You should go beyond the chewing sticks. Also, get a dog's toothpaste and brush your dog's teeth as often as you can. Number 4. Poor Nail Trims If you are confident enough to cut your dog's nails, good on you. It is often a task too daunting for many and is left to the professionals. For those who do venture to cut nails, one thing to stop doing is cutting them badly. Nails are usually too short or not short enough. If nails are cut too short, your Maltese will yelp as the quick has been clipped, resulting in a lot of blood. Usually, she will quickly recover once the bleeding has stopped, but it does hurt your dog. In some cases, though, the quick can get infected, something to watch for. On the flip side, it is the fear of hitting the quick that prevents us from cutting their nails short enough. If nails are too long after a trimming, they get in the way of your dog's walking and can lead to pain. Number 5. You feed your pet real bones. Feeding your dog leftovers is problematic enough, but giving him a real bone could be deadly. Whether it's from poultry, beef, pork, or fish, a real bone can cause your Maltese to choke, or the bone could shatter and puncture his esophagus, stomach, or intestines. Your pup could break a tooth, get a tongue or mouth injury, or have an obstruction that could require surgery. We could go on, but you get the idea. Keep real bones away from your Maltese. Number 6. Exposing your Maltese to strong smells You may feel irritated or probably nauseated when you are in the same room with someone wearing excessive perfume. This is the same to your dog. Actually, dogs have about a 1,000 to 10,000 of your ability to perceive scents. Your Maltese will feel nauseated when sprayed with a perfume or brought close to a particularly strong-smelling substance. It wouldn't feel pleasant at all. For this reason, you should protect your pet from perfume and any other strong-smelling chemicals as much as possible. Number 7. Patting your dog's head Maltese owners usually pat their dog's heads. However, it irritates their pets more than they can imagine. Think about it. Do you really liked it when someone reaches out and patted you on the head suddenly? The answer may be no. The truth is your dog dislikes it even more. Though your dog may not turn around and run away when you pat its head, it'll turn it sideways showing that it is not comfortable with the gesture. Number 8. Yelling at your Maltese Yelling is never a great way to discipline your Maltese. If you yell at your dog when it does something bad, your dog may act all timid, but it will still be unrepentant. This is because yelling actually scares your dog and does not tell your dog what it did wrong. Your dog may assume you are just angry, so it may make itself look timid to protect itself. Number 9. Leaving your dog alone in the car Never ever leave your dog in the car with the windows closed. According to researches, the temperature within a closed car can rise often as high as 20 degrees in every 10 minutes. Unlike us, dogs do not sweat. They become very uncomfortable in such an environment. If you are leaving your car, it is best to take your dog with you. Number 9. Not making socialization a priority Socialization is very important for Maltese health and behavior. 
Lack of socialization results in release of adrenaline hormones that increase dog's blood pressure and heart rate in any unfamiliar situation. Dogs who don't socialize can have anxiety about anything that's unfamiliar. Number 10. Skipping the vet. We know that taking your Maltese to the vet is a pain, not to mention expensive. But regular checkups are so important for your dog's health. The vet can identify issues you might not even be aware of. Plus, they'll make sure your dog's weight is in check and their teeth are in good health. We recommend finding a good vet you like and double-checking to make sure they send you notifications when your dog is due for checkups or shots. If your budget is tight and you're not sure if you can make room for veterinarian expenses, there are a number of ways to still get care for your pup, like going to vet schools or getting help from local charities.